What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran. We're going back to another one of their singles uh, from the first um, album, or the era of the first album. And indeed, we're going to listen to the night version of Girls on Film. Uh, I did want to quickly mention, uh, or apologize, um, I know a few videos I posted yesterday, for whatever reason, the camera like tried to refocus and it looked like the lighting wasn't as good, even though it, I didn't change anything about the lighting that I normally have, so not sure why that happened. Hopefully, you know, I've dealt with it. I actually tried to adjust my lighting a little bit so that, um, you know, it doesn't happen again. But either way, I do apologize because that was very annoying to me, certainly, uh, and I'm sure to a number of you. Regardless, um, as I said, we're coming back for another Duran single, and we're going to listen to the night version of Girls on Film. Now, I remember um, talking to a few of you. I think Izzy was telling me this early on. might have been one or two other people. But that, you know, in many cases when a track is remixed, you know, from one of these 80s sort of synth-pop albums, um, it's someone else who comes in and does it. It's someone who specializes in sort of, you know, dance kind of dance floor oriented um, remixing. But I believe the night versions have, were remixed. They're alternative versions created by the band. Like, they produced the different version of the song. So if I'm remembering that correctly, do let me know. If I'm not remembering it correctly, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I believe the night versions, I'm, I don't remember about the Carnival mix, I know there's a few tracks that have Carnival mixes, I don't know if that's the same thing, where it is actually Duran um, doing the alternative version, or if those are actually someone coming in. I think it's like the night versions, but do let me know if I have that wrong. Uh, but yeah, Girls on Film, um, you know, I enjoy the original tune, it was one of the tunes that I had a sort of vague recollection of, even before, um, you know, I began the deep dive um, that I've been on in earnest. Uh, so yeah, it's a tune that sort of goes back. Um, you know, I've listened to it a few times since. Obviously, I've been you know going through their other albums and so on. Um, but I have gone back and you know I continue to listen to a number um, of their songs that um, I've already gone through in terms of my reactions. Um, so yeah, I remember you know sort of the the sound and the the structure of the original track. So it'd be interesting to hear how it may contrast. Uh, but let's get to it. This is Duran Duran, the night version of Girls on Film, uh, a song originally, or the normal version, from their 1981 uh, studio album, or debut self-titled album. that right away. The bass like grinding and growling. So definitely a longer introduction to the track. Place. It's 
like space to go but again I do understand um, as a number of people pointed out that sort of the idea of taking the vibe right there at the end of the song and just sort of conveying the idea that it could go forever I do appreciate that but yeah it feels like man they, they're jamming right now you know let them let, give it some space uh, but either way um, I really did enjoy that and you know again I maybe I didn't listen to it earlier today maybe I should have done that but I actually there was another single in the same folder um, and I was like wait a minute like an angel that sounds familiar I had already reacted to it. Obviously, it was pretty early on. I'm guessing it was maybe part of the greatest CD, which, you know, I mentioned when I first started doing Duran reactions. I, you know, started reacting to the Rio vinyl that I have. Um, and then, you know, a couple people suggested once I realized, because I was like, oh, actually, I realized that, you know, I have this greatest CD, which, you know, it's late 90s, it's the greatest hits up until that point. Um, and I think someone, you know, had requested it, like, hey, you know, there's a, I think, a song on there. Um, so yeah, I've done uh, Like an Angel before, so um, I skipped over that now. Uh, but yeah, I believe the next time uh, I come back to do a Duran reaction in this run of singles that I've been doing, singles and b-sides, um, I think we'll be moving on to a single from the Rio era. So yeah, um, love the singles uh, from this sort of self-titled debut album period. Uh, in particular, like Late Bar, I think maybe was my favorite of all of them, but um, yeah, they were all cool and I all, or I all, um, I think they all fit in sonically um, with the sort of atmosphere and the sort of configuration that you hear on the record. Now, um, Izzy mentioned, and I fully um, agree, uh, the last one I reacted to, which of course in the moment I'm forgetting the name of it, uh, was it Faster Than Light? Is that the name, Faster Than Light? Um, yes, Faster Than Light. Uh, he mentioned that, you know, it's a good tune, but I, you know, it is like a B-side kind of quality. I'll agree with that. Um, I think it very much captured kind of the, the sonic zeitgeist that they had at this period, but I do agree that it maybe wasn't up to the same level as, you know, the songs that did make the cut. 
Uh, but yeah, so looking forward now to going to the singles from the Rio era. Do let me know what you think of this tune. I'll see you next time. Peace.